Tis better to give than to receive. Now, I'm pretty sure when Jesus said that, he wasn't talking about blood transfusions, but nowhere else is it more applicable. Hey everybody, this is Adam Kokesh. I am here today in beautiful Ventura, California. And today's my birthday. Uh, a lot of people have said, Adam, it's your birthday. What do you want? What, we we got to give you something. Or you you got to do a fundraiser. You got you to raise money because you're fighting for freedom. Tell people, give, give you money because it's your birthday. Well, that's what I wanted to do today is, is actually something that unfortunately isn't possible, but uh, it will be very soon here. Today being February 1st is the first day that I am eligible to give blood uh, since my last donation. And this is my one big pet cause, the one thing that I, I think it's, it's worth, if you're fighting for freedom, if you're standing up for, for justice, if, if you're taking on the powers that be and you're in a position where you've given your life, committed your, your every waking moment to standing up to the injustice of government, you know, there are very few things that you say, well, I, let me stop and do that. Well, you can do that in a, in a way that makes absolute sense by giving blood. If there's one thing that you can do that's, that's worth stopping, whatever, just drop whatever else it is you're doing with your life to save someone else's life. There are a lot of things that are national embarrassments in the United States. Cheeto Jesus, really least among them, 22 veteran suicides a day, the homelessness issue, uh, the, the drug war, uh, police brutality. But the fact that we have this amazing capability of, of taking a, a, a chunk of your life, a chunk of your body, a, a bit of blood, and giving it to another human being to save their life, and that, that we have a shortage in this country. The Red Cross last year had to issue an emergency call for blood because of a critical shortage that doctors have to make medical decisions based on there being insufficient blood supply in hospitals. To me, that's, that's not just insane, but that's, that, that should be embarrassing. So I hope that, that you'll join me in this. This is the one thing that I wanted to do for my birthday was give blood. And so I'm going to be giving blood in Ventura, California here at Vitalant next Monday at 3 o'clock. If you want to join me, that's great. Not an official coordinated event with them. If you want to give blood that day, call Ed, make an appointment uh, with Vitalant or the Red Cross or whatever. But yes, I will be at the Vitalant here in Ventura, California at 3 o'clock. Not this coming Monday, February 3rd, but Monday the 10th uh, of February. If you can be there, I would love to see you there. If you can't, please donate blood wherever it is that you can, somewhere in uh, any, anywhere in the world. Give blood this week. That's all I want for my birthday. And, and just to say thank you, my little incentive. And again, that, that we, have to, we have to even ask people to give blood when, when, when we're capable of this seems unnecessary. We, we, we should be beyond this. This is such a beautiful technological medical feat that we have accomplished. Uh, and, and by the way, what I do, I, do, I donate every four months. Uh, I've, I've donated my entire adult life whenever I've been eligible. They, they don't let you give right after a tattoo or when you just got back from Iraq. But uh, what they have now with Vitalant, I do the double power red. And this is even like cooler next level technology stuff. When, when, when they put the needle in your vein, it goes to three hoses. I don't, I don't think hoses is, oh, hey puppy. <laughs> I don't think hoses is the technically correct term here, but they have, have three tubes that come out. One pulls your whole blood out and it sends it through a centrifuge. They have this big box sitting next to you when you're, when you're given blood and it separates the red blood cells from the plasma and then it sends the plasma and the saline back in through the other two tubes and you feel this cool liquid coming into your body. It's, it's just an, an amazing sensation. But yes, it is not just with blood transfusions, but I think in, in, in every other way, more blessed to give than to receive. But you certainly wouldn't want to find yourself uh, on the uh, side of needing a blood transfusion when there's a shortage. So let's let's get over this. Let's fix this. And, and, and I say, hey, America, this is what we've seen this right now. But this is this is actually a global problem that the demand for blood in, in hospitals and blood transfusions is higher than the supply. So let's go, let's get the whole human family together and, and fix this problem. It's really a relatively easy one. If you're eligible, figure out somewhere in your community, somewhere that's convenient for you to give blood on a regular basis, put it on your calendar, 
And that's what I saw in my reminder today. Adam, it's your birthday. You're eligible to give blood again. So this is what we're doing. I'm gonna be giving blood next Monday at 3 p.m. at the Vitalant in Ventura. And anybody who gives blood this next week, I'm gonna send you a free signed copy with the signature on the cover, white paint, and a freedom sticker. All you gotta do is email me, Adam at the Freedom Line, with a picture of yourself donating blood. I hope you'll tag me in, in any social media posts you do about that. I hope you make some posts, share this, Get the message out there. Yeah, there's a blood shortage. There, there's a shortage in the supply. There's no reason for this whatsoever. So please give blood, celebrate freedom. This is making society a better place. Remember, the message of freedom, uh, you know, it, it's, it's not just about taking on government. It's not just about fighting unjust laws. It's about replacing violence and coercion with cooperation. And trust me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, this video is already at six minutes. I can make it an hour and six minutes if you want me to talk about all the problems with the system of, of socialized medicine that we have in the United States today, all the, the shortages and problems that, that go with it. But hey, when it comes down to it, this is a way that we can help people today. Give blood, be a part of the solution, help make the world a better place, bring the whole human family together. Mwah. Peace and love, y'all.